Thank you to our sponsor, Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions cost? Most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions when the actual total is closer to $200. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, you need Rocket Money. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. That's rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. Rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Whether you're new to cannabis or an old pro, there's no denying that many of the products on the market seem iffy at best. And when you want to relax, iffy is the last way you want to feel. Order your THC products from Mood today. And for 20% off your first order and free gummies, go to hellomood.com and use promo code TRASH TUESDAY. That's hellomood.com, promo code TRASH TUESDAY for 20% off your order and free gummies. Liquid Death's new iced teas are available now with free shipping on Amazon and at retailers near you. Trash Tuesday listeners get 20% off your first Liquid Death apparel purchase available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash trash. That's liquiddeath.com slash trash for 20% off their one-of-a-kind apparel. Miami, I am coming to do stand-up April 21st and 22nd. Get tickets at estheronice.com. And as always, I have a solo podcast. You can check it out wherever you listen to your podcast. It's audio only, and it's super weird. Hi, Sluggies. I'm having the best time on the road on the Welcome to Anniewood tour. You can see me in Seattle this March 10th and 11th. You can see me in Tampa March 17th and 18th. In Toronto, April 21st and 22nd. Riley, North Carolina, May 12th and 13th. I'll be in Salt Lake City in June. I will also be in Calgary in August. All of these shows are going to sell out. There's also so many more tickets coming and other shows. So please go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows and then come see me every Thursday. See my little baby, Annie Wood, my favorite little thing, my solo podcast that's on YouTube. Um, comment, subscribe, like it, all that stuff. Can't wait to see you. The last time that you were here, you talked about your dogs like the way that it spoke to me. Oh. I knew I understood you. Yes. They're your babies, they're your life. That's my child. Your child, yes. And you're the same way. Or you're, yeah. you seem like a- I'm co-parenting right now. Yeah. And you know what, I, I'm i strict with a co-parenting. Bobby came over yesterday and he spent, um, I don't know if we should be, there should be like a police escort outside, you know, <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> Hollywood co-parenting <laughs> meetings go. <laughs> Um, but he cried on his way out. Oh, sad. He was really, really upset. So upset that he left his keys at my house, his actual car keys. And I don't know how he got home. <laughs> I woke up this morning. I was like, his keys are here. This, is he outside? Is his car gone? His yeah, car is gone. Cause he, he's in New York. That happened to me once where I drove my car somewhere and I had to valet and the valet is like, where's the keys? And I'm like, I literally don't have them. I don't know how I got here. And then I realized that this, the whole time, ever since I had bought my my car my extra set of keys was in the car Ooh. so i never so someone and i never knew why i couldn't lock my car so oh my there was always my car was always unlocked and available to be stolen for a year oh you lucked out can yeah. you drive like a certain i don't know like 50 i think so away? yeah i think that um it won't stop but it's like shouldn't he have kept his he would have had to keep his engine on yeah that's weird yeah. i don't know <laughs> Wait, I, you never know what he's doing. Can I ask, like, what can you tell us, like, the rules of the dog custody, or is that per personal? Um, well, he asked initially that I take all the animals, not because he doesn't want to be with them, but he doesn't think he's a good father. Aww. And I agreed. Um, I agree as well. <laughs> Their basic needs. Right. But I'm like, look, I'm probably going to have to get a much smaller place than this fortress of a home. So, um, how about I? take the four dogs and you take the cats because cats are easy you can just put you know yeah and he agreed to that but then the new agreement is now i have to go back and forth and take care of the cats as well <laughs> oh wow <laughs> oh no the cats so too. he his thing was you cannot live more than like eight minutes away because this co-parenting thing really is single parenting yeah so that's yeah. the that's the vibe and also the cats have a catio because we built this whole little like jungle palace for them. And okay. All. So I'm like, yeah. they have to stay there. Yeah. That's cute. We That's can't cool. Move cats around. But would you guys, I have a question for you guys. Wait, should we introduce the guests first? Sure. 
Um, okay, do you want me to do it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> You guys, I've been really excited for this duo to come on the show only because I truly think beyond just being funny girls, they're true performance artists. Everyone, Chelsea Lynn, Paige mm. Ginn, I've been such huge fans for a very long time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, honeys. And Thank you guys you. are fellow wild and crazy female podcasters. Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah, big. we're wild. They have their uh -huh. own podcast called Viral Podcast. Yep. Yeah, we're the, trying to take over the world. The Viral Podcast, and we are trying to take over the world. I always say that. <laughs> well, I think that you have to have that big of a goal at all times. That's how I feel. I'm like, I'm going for the top. Yeah. I'm not like, yes, world domination. I think yes. Madonna said that she wanted that. And look where she landed. Exactly. On the I, ground. I love that. Shit. Yeah. I think that I, I, I told this to a friend yesterday. I was like, wait a second. Like everyone always says to like temper your dreams or manage your expectations of life. And I'm like, no, like delusion has gotten me pretty far. Mm-hmm. And this idea of being like grandiose, I'm like, wait, I can do that. Like, it's good to be cocky and audacious. I'm leaning into that for sure. I'm like, I used to have to really be like shy and and hide how confident. I don't know if confident is the right word because I think it all is wrapped in insecurity and low self-worth. But um, I feel like I've had to how much I love myself, I've had to hide because that can be very off-putting to men. Yeah. And so now I'm like, no, I'm better than you guys. <laughs> and not only men, so many people are will put you down for if you dream big, they're like, you can't do that. Yeah. You know, so it's like, why do you even, it's hard to express yourself if people aren't accepting it, you know? Sometimes it's almost like you just got to keep, keep the dream quiet, but mm -hmm. keep it big in yourself. Oh, yeah. I like also, that. the reason why I think it's good for the world to lean into that kind of confidence is we are publicly showing it to other people and they will learn and be love themselves more through it. So big it's time. all yes. for good reason. Yes. Honey, spread friend. the love. Who's this? <laughs> hey, <laughs> honeys. Came in with uh, the fashion. <gasps> hey, Hi. honey. Hello. Hello. That's oh Paige. Nice to meet you. Mm. Hi, little munch. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hi, little one. I wanted to, I wanted to ask you guys like suppose you were single and you met a perfect guy and you, he ticks all the boxes but then he meets your dogs for the first time and he's not it's not that he's mean he just doesn't give him the same mouth kissy love that you give he's kind of like indifferent Oh that'd be hard if he was mean and didn't like oh done of course. If he could, if he liked them, but just wasn't as obsessed with them, I think I could deal with. But what if, what if he's like, they're just dogs? Oh, one time we were interviewing roommates, my husband and I, <laughs> and we had this guy walk in and he literally walked in until he was barking because a stranger had walked in the door. And the guy, as soon as he walked in, he goes, uh, is she going to do this a lot? And I go, we're, do we're, yeah, we're, we're done. Yeah, you're getting invited into my house. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually wondering how you feel about how far Donut just went up my nose. Uh, that's okay, because you're like a, you know, you're a safe Well, person. she's now high on ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It would be left over from a while ago. But, I mean, it was up that far. You're taller than I I'm shocked. I'm a big bitch. I didn't I'm even, excited about I it. I didn't even stand up. Wait I, till feel you like, <laughs> I feel like Esther. I'm huge. Wait, how tall are you? 5'11". Wow. 5'11". Oh, that's yeah. my dad's height. Maybe that's why. I <laughs> love you, daddy. The perfect little yes. Now tell her she's a dumb bitch. <laughs> no, your dad would never. I'm 5'8". My sister is six feet tall. Wow. But you know you live with someone long enough and you just don't think they're yeah. tall. Mm -hmm. And then you don't see him for a while and you're like, wait, we're related? Every time I see Esther, I feel the opposite way. And Donut, actually. I feel the same way about you and Donut. I'm like, how are you guys real? Oh, yeah. is this a thing? It's still, I I'm still feel it. I'm taking advantage of it. You still feel what? <laughs> the nose. The she got up in there. She, oh, donut. Donut's goal in life is to eat your brain through your nose. Oh, I'm my God. I feel like. Because her tongue is small enough that it can go so far. I'm feeling less bad memories. She got my, she lobotomized <laughs> me. What have you done? Uh, like nothing. No mushrooms, just like the. Oh, I do smoke, or I do smoke weed and do mushrooms. Oh, that's right. I like weed. the idea and of smoking mushrooms. Yeah, smoking yeah mushrooms. I, I would try it, smoke. but I've never done cocaine, nothing. Same. Me neither. Not the nosy. Me neither. Yeah, and nothing. ketamine. Ketamine for like, like to get me out of my depression. Well, you time. have like nose, you have like nostril issues of someone who did do a lot of coke. <laughs> you like got like a collapsed nose. Like I have a collapsed valve. 
Ooh. And but I've never done cocaine. It kind of just did it. This on valve its own. is good to go though. This valve is. Ooh, yeah. Actually, yes, again? it's better. Hey, it what's healed? What happened with that uh, Instagram guy? Remember last time I was here? Oh, you know, that I hot? never followed up because he. It was too much. He he was. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so What's his name, the guy? Yinny. Yeah. Yes. Very hot, very wonderful. And he came back with, hey, like, honestly, like this game has got to end. Let me take you out to dinner. Like, what's the what's the hold up? And then I I got scared. And then Is I, he I asked I, out kind of an ick. I I didn't reply, but not because I didn't appreciate <laughs> it. Something. You got nervous. Are you upset? <sighs> what happened? Well, bit. There's a porn, a, a porn boy, a porn guy, and that, his whole thing is like he's a pleasure dom, oh. and he's extremely good looking. And I talked about him once in the podcast, and basically he was like, "What's up?" Like, so basically his whole thing is like he just wants to make girls come over and over and over again. <laughs> what a guy! I, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I know. And, Damn. I know. Um, you left him on red. <laughs> I did, and I, I, I do feel like I just didn't have a good like reply because I. I don't think I am open to go to dinner. I can't do it. You maybe, I'm not a dinner bitch. Maybe also, maybe you're not feeling deserving of the multiple orgasms <laughs> that you know you're going to get. Wait. Yeah. Maybe you're not feeling deserving of being dominated with pleasure. Think about I, it. I actually love, love. Coming? Com <laughs> like over and over again. Yeah. No, so, yeah. to the point where it hurts. Yeah. We're like, oh, why is this happening? But I love the comfort of making myself come over and over again. Like the idea that there is like an extra work mm. in the room that... May I say something that may not be how you feel, but okay. I'm now feeling how I would feel if I was being asked these questions. Making yourself come, you're alone, you're going to... A pleasure dom, he's dominating you beyond your own, like, ability to s maintain some sort of cuteness in your pleasure. So it is, like, so vulnerable if you get to that fourth, fifth. Right. And it is out of my control. And right? he's just now he's seeing it. That's what he's probably getting off on is seeing the whole. I'm like, no, I don't yeah. want to come anymore. I'm depleted. <laughs> I'm out. And he just keeps going. But that's what you know what you're only at, like, 3% at that point. Oh, yeah. When you're saying that, you're like, no, 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 no. See, none of that is what bothers me. It's just that he asked you to dinner is what's grossing me. <laughs> For some reason, like, there's something about that. Like, I don't like. Like, you know where he's going to be. He's like, <laughs> like, his fingers at dinner. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm like. There's something about being asked out on a date. I don't think I've ever, that's ever worked for me. So it just feels Has like- Has it happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with yourself. just one. You know? With just one come? Yeah, I'm just good with one. One a day or one? One good come. I don't want to be too fucking, or uh, I notice you guys bleep out your cuss words. So I'm going to turn up the The only word. first 10 minutes. Oh, we don't. I think we're good, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack Very smart. The whole podcast would be like, eh. <laughs> no, me too. They keep taking our money away as well. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, they don't like giving it out. But yeah, one one nut because it, I get numb. <laughs> and if yeah, he's yeah. trying to force a nut on the numbness, it might do something. <laughs> but I like when I'm when I'm getting at myself. I like to just you try to push through the numbness. It's how true. far can I go? Wait, how numb are we talking? Like um, below, like I'm the legs are paralyzed. No stranger, mm -hmm. like you know the boys that sit on their hands and yeah. their hand goes numb. I'm talking uh, the girl version where you just go so hard it goes <laughs> numb, and then you're like. Who am I fingering? It's like, is it me? Is it a stranger? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Amy, you, God. you and I, are, we're pretty close. Like you've been pretty vulnerable with me. I feel like it would make perfect sense if you- Mutually masturbate. Were to you? allow me to watch you masturbate. Would oh. you really answer? Can I just tell it? you, Dave being out, out of town, <laughs> like now, look at this. Is this a surprise? <laughs> Esther's now like, let me see inside your vagina. I've seen the outside. I'd like to see the inside. <laughs> now with you my tongue. <laughs> it's but would you, Annie? Let Could you? Masturbate? I think you. I think you respect me a little enough that you would let me watch. If I let you, if I, it would be a complete disrespect if I let you watch. <laughs> I'd be like, this is how little I respect. No, you. that's what I'm saying. No, um, probably not. Probably what? Not. What about like if you were on? If a I'm being completely honest. What if pick I, a substance? Any ecstasy, maybe ecstasy, maybe but then acid. Acids made me very. Horny at times. Don't you think it's good for like group bonding for like if you guys, for example, you host a podcast together to just like get high on ecstasy and, and group masturbate? Yeah. I'd yeah. be down for that. <laughs>
Try it for 30 days is enough time to try and completely forget about a subscription or service. I always get conned into this. I swear, I always forget that I've subscribed to something and I rack all of these unnecessary costs up. And I swear to you, Rocket Money has saved my life. Do you understand that I have been doing this exact mistake probably since I was like 15, where like you sign up for something, you think you're getting, oh, a deal, it's free. And then suddenly like you forget about it. It's 10 years later, you're still paying. You're homeless. You, <laughs> you're your whole your life car. is in shambles. Your teeth are loose. You're like, what's going on here? Well, the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. You need to think about that for a second. Like if you're only subscribed to a handful of services, if, if that's what you think, you may want to double check. And here's the thing, you get that money back. You you cancel to get that money back. You get to spend it on things like skims. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, like that streaming service you bought to watch just one show on, or that free trial that you never even used. That's me for sure. And Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones that you don't want. And over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. That's rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. Rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys, getting to know yourself can be a lifelong process, especially because we're always growing and changing. And therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we, or why we react the way we do until we talk through things. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. That is the most important thing about therapy to me is the self-discovery. Like... There's so much in there and Is it's there? not, no, and it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's not spinnies, always spinnies. good. The more I know, the more tools I have yeah. to figure out why that's happening. The spinnies, the scaries, all of the S words, they're all in there. The and clingies. If, and if you're- The and, jingies. The, wasn't that a thing we talked about? The jingies. The jingies. Yeah, I The see. Django, when you just can't stop thinking about that movie. Honestly, yes. You guys, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. This show has been con considered a, it's been called a therapy session, but it's not. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, guys, that's it's not. An, that's it's an opener. Actually, unprofessional of you guys to say that. It's, <laughs> it's foreplay to therapy. Listen, we're not therapists, okay? We need therapy badly. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H E L P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Because isn't Were that you like a ma like masturbate with the neighbors type kid growing up? Oh, God. My mom was. Yeah. We were, what? <laughs> my we mom was like, uh, was like, didn't you guys rub your like your kitties on the corner? Of oh, the, yeah. Yeah, the chair. With your 100%. Yeah. I was always humping my grandma's chair. Yeah. <laughs> I she, had no And she would hump her doll's head. Dolls? Oh, yeah. I think you told us this. I would it. fuck my dolls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And would, but would you like, were you like with the neighborhood kids doing it too? Like we would steal our parents' porns and watch them, like bring all the neighbors over and we would like lock the door and we'd all Wait, so neighbor. why is yes. it okay that in middle school we do that right well i didn't but i saw like but movies. i fuck one brother <laughs> <laughs> i saw it Possibly in a, two. <laughs> but it's like you always hear stories about like yeah like the boys stole their parents porn and there's eight of them around right. and they're just like you know quietly jerking off mm -hmm. like what happened to that as adults like we, do we just abandon uh, like that pastime we didn't masturbate though it was like the whole neighborhood would come over and we would just watch them and be like he this is weird no we, we I, oh, we didn't yeah. masturbate together, but I don't think I have that experience of like open. Did you masturbate in front of neighbors? No. <laughs> no, no, we would hump as little kids. Yeah. Through our clothes, just hump. I know. Uh, it's just so weird that you're like, this thing feels good to me. I know. Together. Yeah. That was weird. Esther, you don't that look like you're, you have ever humped? No, I did not have She's so any no, sexual. Humping. No, not me. You never, never leaned forward in a chair I'm just and was like, just jizz all over <laughs> no, face right now. Never that hit with the shower head, never <laughs> with angle. I never had. 
had that. Neighborhood kids, neighborhood boys. No. You never just humped in the I backyard. I would girls, honestly. No, I, 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 I don't know what that means about me. You, you all did that. Yeah, because if you, I, if you felt pressure like the first time, like I really rode a bike, like I felt the pressure against my pussy. I was like, ooh, this feels nice. Maybe yeah. it's because Let's I never rode a bike. Let's go on a couple bike rides. Oh, like she doesn't know how to ride a bike. That's why. <gasps> yeah. That feel. That's why. Sex is like riding a bike. Esther doesn't yeah. have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Esther's really bad at it. <laughs> they need to make bike seats that just rub your clit. Oh. Ooh. And it, it gets um, faster the more you pedal. <laughs> We're all just Honestly, pedaling around. Like, I'm surprised, I'm surprised I'm like, the these guys that just put dildos on our chairs for us to sit. <laughs> I'm always like, did you just turn this into a porn, you monster? We're going to do those, you know, those bouncy balls. <laughs> Oh, with, with the, the oh, yeah. with the wieners, we're literally gonna film a pod where we're sitting on those. That's all the whole episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't know if it will be inserted or I'll insert just it. hanging out in the back. I'll yeah, kind of keeping you on. And yeah, we won't, we won't say much. <laughs> we won't, you know, we're not gonna say much. We're just gonna tell people what we're sitting on. And we're just gonna do the pod the whole time with it in us. They're pretty girthy. Mm. We'll see. We'll I, see. We'll see how girthy they yeah. are. Yeah, I want to ask end, you guys a question. I know you guys have sent pictures of your vaginas to each other's yeah. fathers. Yeah. Um, but I didn't send her dad one. No. Oh, you didn't. Just no. the just you yeah, sent yeah. her dad. Now <laughs> why? And why wasn't it reciprocated? Oh, I don't talk to my dad. <laughs> That would have been weird. Is that worse or better? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, because then we could. We wanted to know the response. Yeah, he didn't respond. Um, we later come to find out that he didn't respond because he thought it was a fan of ours and he didn't want to get in trouble because people message him and get his phone number all the time yeah. and people try to fuck him and her dad's like 75. 77. 77. Yeah. Like, and he's young. still fucking, right? Yep. I'm thinking so. Oh yeah, he is. And people try to fuck him all the time. So he and was he's like, Asian I Annie. He's a oh, Chinese man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Your dad? Got, yeah. And he has a big dick. Half age? Because... <laughs> <laughs> well, because it got caught in the zipper, I don't know if you heard, but he we couldn't get it out. Oh my and god! And so I had a video. to step in. She had to touch it. Yeah, that yeah. Like, so I was like, funny. and people thought that video was fake, and it was not. No. Well, for a second, not fake. <laughs> oh, should we pull up the video? This is actually a really cute, like, family video. I think. <laughs> I I thought my dad had a heart attack because my brother came out. Paige, we have a serious problem. I, dad, dad zipped up his dick. Oh, oh my god. god. It, it was bad. When I first bad. saw it, I didn't realize that you were um half Chinese. So mm -hmm. I was like, what is Paige doing is with man? a with this Chinese man dick in her hand? <laughs> you can't see other halfies. For real. You can't see other half Asian. Well, no, and not with her so much. I think I don't know why. But I in a same way, people can't ever, see it with me. No, since I met you and since I started dating Todd. I call ever, I would be like, are you Asian? Like, I can't tell you how many white people. I'm like, are you Asian? They're like, what? No one's ever said that to me in my life. I just assume Asian first. Esther could be Asian. Don't you see it? I see it. Asian for just everybody? A fourth, Partial maybe. Age. Yeah. A fourth. I'm small uh -huh. and smart. Yeah. Oh, there you go. God. Here we go. <laughs> then you're Asian. You then you're Asian. Illusion. But didn't we establish that your general vibe is that of like a middle school like Japanese boy? Yes. <laughs> thank you. No, I have I really respect Same and adore paper, the Asian culture. Paper shoes. Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I just see you in them. Do you do you like the Rubik's Cube? <laughs> um, I never you know what I gave up early on the Rubik's Cube. That mm. was a struggle for me. I was not good at it right out the gate. She gave I, it one twist. Yeah. <laughs> one twist. <laughs> yeah. I can't figure that one out, the Rubik's Cube. Well, here's the thing with the Rubik's mm. Cube. You know that you can just look online and, and know forever, but it's like, ugh. Did you guys know Obi? Really? I liked Obi. Did What's you ever Obi? have an Obi? Mm -mm. I thought that was a tampon Obi. brand. Obi. Obi. Drink? This is the Rubik's Cube oh, for idiots. Oh. Mm -mm. Damn. It's a squeeze? Yeah. <laughs> You just it's just a tampon. It. You guys OB don't. Tampon. Wait, it's not coming. No, there's no cube. Oh. I pretty much just messed with Bop It. If I'm the only yeah, yeah Bop It was everything. Yeah. Bop oh It was pretty That's easy. That's kind of reminding me of your thing. <laughs> Bop it. What's that, <laughs> Esther? Esther, you discovered something very cute. Oh. I'm like making something up. Please, a move fat on. wiener dog. So wait, sorry. Can we pull up Paige's uh, video with her daddy? I think this is really. Oh, cute. it's on Instagram. If they haven't this taken it down. Did anyone know this? Let me see it. And then yeah. I think it's no. on the reels. Oh, that was a stress ball that was given to you. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> you squeeze it and the eyes pop out. That's all it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's um for coping. They yeah. said this yeah. is a puzzle. <laughs> Figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> 
I could oh stop fucking God. and riding bikes. And Esther's like, is this a puzzle? Squeeze in it. <laughs> okay, it should be down. Okay, stop. Oh my God, did you just sit to the left? Right yeah. there. <laughs> Can you imagine? Here he is. Hot daddy. Oh, that's my brother trying to help him. There's me trying to think. <laughs> Dude, that was like a real thinking stance too. You can tell this isn't staged. <laughs> what are you handing him? Oh, a oil. vitamin E oh, oil. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, your dad's a hottie. Wait, your dad is really cute. Oh, he might get at you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so watch what you say. I'm into the Asian persuasion. He'll be happy to hear for real. <laughs> yeah. When I was in there, it wasn't his balls. It was his shaft. He he zipped up his shaft. Oh, he shaft. zipped up the shaft. Ooh. Oh, my God. I yeah. would definitely just call How low task is rabbit. It, it go? You call a task rabbit, you said? I'm yeah, like I'm at not, his knees. I don't care who is having the problem. It's a task rabbit Didn't situation. you get my ex-boyfriend on task rabbit once? I saw him on there, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Paige, were you the oh. hero here? Yeah. You were the person who finally got it out? Yeah, my brother's like, we got to go to the hospital. And Was my, he okay with filming it? Were you like, look, we got to do this? He... I don't even think he noticed because he was in so much pain. pain. Yeah, he was trying. He to he couldn't even walk. So oh. I'm like, we cannot get like we cannot spend more time trying to go to the hospital. Mm. He probably would have lost. But we do is yeah. the camera on? It's not. Hold on, Dad. Hold on, Dad. <laughs> we gotta film. But this. that is. Um, that <laughs> if is, you didn't get that on film, it would have been an absolute national tragedy. Nobody would have known. Right? China. Would you guys save uh, anybody in your family? Yeah, their, hearts? their dick. Yeah. Oh was, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Well, my dad was bedridden in the last couple of years of his life. And so my mom, my sister and I were basically his caretakers. So like I ended up having to like wipe my dad's ass. Like there were times where I would sit him up and he's like, I'm sitting on my balls. And I'd be like, oh, Aww. sorry. You know, because it, it gets pretty That's far back a there. Line. That's like a good rap line. I'm but <laughs> but I yeah. think what I wanted to ask you guys is like, do you have... Have you ever seen your dad's penis? And is Why it okay? Is this what we're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so her line is so weird. Okay, they sent their pussies to their dads. Did you not think this was right? Enough? Right, and she, you're asking all so serious. I know. I did. Was she ball? I thought it was gonna be like <laughs> your dad's something like serious. Stop it, Annie. Um, my well, my question in all like. I know your dad would like it. <laughs> I'm being serious. It's like for me, the first time I saw my dad's penis was when I had to take care of him. Mm -hmm. And there was a moment when I changed his diapers where I was like, oh, he's he's done well in life. Like he's got a, you know, his size is good. Like, is that a bad thing for me to have clocked in my head? Well, you're older at this time. You've seen other penises. Usually people see their dad's penises on accident when they're kids. So you don't have a range. I have a joke about this, about how I remember my dad's dick being big. And he's like, no, it's small. And I'm like, what was like, was I looking? I was like, my daddy dick. Like, a, <laughs> he's a big dick, you know? Yeah. But um, I have a long bed. You have to come see me live. <laughs> um, but I, you yeah, know, I've seen my dad's. I used to, my joke was always like, it's not Christmas till you've seen your dad's dick. Because my dad wears like nightgowns. <laughs> my dad wears like a I love nightgown. It. Like he'll wear the one that you get like at Christmas. Like it'll, it's they've got like scallop like a scoop, <gasps> and then That's it says Coca Cola. It comes with a hat, but doesn't wear the hat. I love him. He wears <laughs> nightgowns, and then they have this awning upstairs. So I'll come in like guys, I'm home. You know, my dad will be like, and he's home, and I'm like, oh my god, no. I'm underwear. I'm gonna like. <laughs> He I'm getting like the out. devil's eye view yeah. of these balls. Oh my yeah. gosh. So yeah, I've seen my dad's dick quite a bit, but I don't think it's bad to clock this out. Yeah, I, I yeah. I no, I don't think so. if you didn't. Okay. Yes. It's the most important penis in your life. If you yeah. Think. Well, I always think of it as this, like if I ever have a son and his dick is small, it will not be my, from my side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's right? on his dad. I've seen all my uncles and they're well you know, they're girthy motherfuckers. Now this is where we get... Confused. I was about to say, yeah, what's this going on? This is where on? we go, okay. Yeah, where'd you see those? Well, where'd you see <laughs> <them? All laughs> them? A lot of them. A lot of them would like swing their dicks around like after the shower. I know, it's a molesty <laughs> family, but um, yeah, I, I wish I hadn't seen it, but I saw it growing up and they were like, ooh, okay. Just Have doing the helicopter? Have heard of this concept that's like pretty... More, it's more common than you think, but we're two brothers one has a really big dick and one has a small dick and it like basically like fucks up their lot both of their lives their relationship with each other yeah i've heard didn't we have someone on our show who said 
No, it was a, someone I know was telling me about her sons. And then I was talking about it with the, some guys and they're like, yeah, we have guy friends <clears throat> who like one brother, they know both brothers and one had a small dick and one had a big dick. And it's like it, the difference in their lives was like wow. really severe. I, I know bet. The guys are just... So I don't even know. That's so <laughs> interesting, though. Like, and do, does it does it affect their relationship with each other? Because I'm sure they've seen each of other. Of course, they definitely. Yeah. Is there a resentment? Well, it's like a bald it. a bald brother and a full mm. head of head. hair brother. It was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also like, um, you would assume that brothers would all have the same similar size, but that's not the case at all. That that's what was surprising. To I would me. think that. That they would all have the same, yeah, or yeah, so, yeah. Really? not not necessarily because I've seen my sister's pussy and it couldn't be more different than mine. Hers is like a porn star, mm. damn, like very everything is just so put together and a different color that is like wow, like you you are like a <laughs> she's a Barbie doll, she's a yeah she mm. is, and then I always look at mine like how like who did so I get tall, it from like at your height. <laughs> yeah putting that slinging that pussy in my face all day i saw my grandma's pussy i've never seen an uncle or a dad's dick but i did see my grandma's pussy spread open when she was in the hospital <clears throat> she was getting out of her out of the bed in the hospital gown i was helping her out she flipped open her legs it was right there and i was shocked it was beautiful you wouldn't think a 75 year old woman's pussy Mm -hmm. but i kind of i kind of stopped and was like nanny <laughs> i go you have a pretty vagina and she was like i know like <laughs> i know how do you think you got here <laughs> Gosh, i was like wow um i always thought there'd be cheese oh <laughs> and a older a great cheese lots of just meat hanging no her shit was tight no wrinkle <laughs> nothing it looked like you know a 20 year old's pussy i was like wow Wow. It is genetic, you know, uh... <laughs> I haven't seen my grandma's yet. You got to ask to look at it. My Dang. grandma's dad. She's I'll coming. Dig her up. Yeah. I got to dig her up. Oh, oh help. my Let me god! See. She's our she's our resident grave digger. I Let love. me it see. It is weird that we do have like a grave digger here. No. Also, what? yesterday one of my friends was like, <laughs> "She's a groundskeeper." He was like, "How is anyone a mortician?" And my reaction was like, "I would kill it at being a mortician it's like literally playing dress up but with they smell bad no they don't and that wouldn't bother me and their human smells it's like playing dress up where you have all the control and i don't think that's scary and then my friend was like well aren't you scared of dead bodies and i'm like that's the least scary thing mm, is the body the body <laughs> what's yeah. the most scary then someone with like a weapon who wants to hurt you a dead body is not scary yeah. do you guys feel like you could be a but, mortician yeah but have so. you ever heard of a no. death rattle no. A death rattle is basically mm -hmm. like rest in peace. This is pretty tragic. But what happened to Anne Hache where you think they're oh, dead? God, that was and then all of a sudden worry. they have one more blast <laughs> of like adrenaline and they like kind of spring up mm. and you just spread your legs back to life. Oh, that's a pretty good yeah. <laughs> That sounds exciting. That doesn't sound I'm I'm I not just I'm gonna dead call bullshit on this. Fine. Are you really a groundskeeper? You don't like... Yeah, are you really? I'm you confused. You scream if like a bug is near you. Bugs are different. I'm grossed out by bugs. Dead and they bodies do smell cannot... bad and it's not a regular human smell that you're smelling. Also, bugs can bite you and kill you. Like we have instincts to be afraid of them. A dead body cannot hurt I don't want to tell you about this new show on uh, HBO or on uh, what's The Last of Us. There's a show. Oh, the, oh yeah, The Last of Us. Those dead people can bite you. Oh, I haven't watched that yet, but that's a show, Annie. He may never- It's the souls flying around, the demonic shit that scares me. <laughs> you I'd do be fine with the body. Same. I'd, yeah. I, I'm yeah. really scared of, you, but Esther does- We uh, gotta get her around a corpse because I gotta see, I wanna- Great, let's go to a forensic scientist school or some shit. No, let's go to the body farm in Indiana. What's I that? think it's what body it is. Farm. I it's basically where that. I think I think it's in the Indiana where they take like Jane Doe's and John Doe's and they're like I don't know how this person died, so they send it over to these forensic entomologists who basically use insects to date a dead body how long has this body been dead and they're able to like identify like the cause of death and um it's just a body farm Do they basically. have volunteers that are allowed to go or we're allowed i, I we mean like a museum <laughs> we're not volunteers esther does have a good point though because think you you're just out at hobby lobby walking next to like a jeffrey dahmer <laughs> or you know yeah there's way creepier people i'd rather be yeah. the jeffrey dahmer in the room than not 
<laughs> yeah. You know? Oh my yeah. God, that's so sad. Her, trying, her little body trying to chop up a big person. No. Oh, Esther with the saw. It's like a big body. When you guys are out and about, do you look for exit signs? Or you're Always. not that paranoid? Always. I have a list okay. of people I call my active shooters. And uh, it's Why just the socially. No. <laughs> It's socially no, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> but that's where when really I see thing. them, I look, I look for the exit. I'm always like, oh, okay, I'm out of here. Mm. Not that I'm scared of them. I just don't want to talk to them. Well, mm. they're yeah, they're I, just not my vibes. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, just in case. I am an exit marker because my mom, like my whole life, would always like tell us horror stories about like clubs getting like um, catching on fire, like like dance clubs. Mm -hmm. It's like, see, if you go to a dance club, look at 386 young people mm. dead because there was a fire at a warehouse, a club. So like my whole life, it's like, you're going to the club, you might die of a fire. So she's always like, mark your exits everywhere Wait, you go. Wait, your mom would oh, say that man. to you? Yeah. Okay, I wonder, is that why you think you're more of like a homebody? Because I have this too, where my mom was such a worrier and would every time I would do something, she'd be like, well, be careful of this, da, 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 you know, and put all this fear into you. And then that's why like, every time you leave the house, you're like, is it worth the risk? Do you feel that? <laughs> um, no, because I've definitely been been a club hoe for, okay. you know, a couple of years in Vegas. We saw that outfit. Thank you. We don't, <laughs> we don't forget that side pwn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? Your pussy was hanging out? <laughs> no, I used to live in Vegas for a couple of years. So I definitely did my rounds as just, you know, just your typical happy yeah. hoe in Vegas. Just Do you living. feel like you got it all out and that's why you don't like to go out now? Or do you yeah, think this you're is why I'm a second in wind of it and it's like you just were in a relationship that brought that was more domestic and um. i don't know i think this is why i wear crocs every day i think those <laughs> days are over but what do you guys do you have any tips for a girl like me who's like just gotten out of a 10-year relationship damn maybe just figuring out who you are as a human and you know just spend some time by yourself honestly yeah and don't leave doms on red <laughs> yeah, got that pleasure done. Kelsey's just so mad at you. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to find out how that went. Me so. too. Like, does he just eat your pussy, Selfish. or like, yeah. is he gonna have intercourse? Should, Should we try just calling? Him? Yeah, just cold calling him. We'll, yeah. we'll do it at the end of the show. Yeah, if he doesn't pick up, it's over. Oh my gosh, we gotta call him. It's actually never over the pleasure dom. I think <laughs> he's time. waiting on you. Do he's you know anybody who has gone to him? Um, I don't, but I have seen some of his stuff and he really is like a great, you could tell he's a good lover. Like he knows but what he's what doing. What if you're like, there's something about him coming in, I'm the good lover, where I'd be like, <laughs> you're the good lover, you know? Yeah. But I guess he must be used to that and be able to penetrate through. Yeah, and his dick's like kind of pretty. Just imagine you're like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck a lot of bitches. I'm just gonna say that I'm <laughs> pleasure dom. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, he's gaslighting you guys for sure. I remember, <laughs> I, I remember going, just going out to eat like after, there was this guy who I used to bump cigarettes from and I, I found him to be so annoying, but I, I just bumped, he was he just like, I bumped cigarettes. <laughs> and it was just like, all right. He was like, do you want to get food? I'm like, sure. So we go out to a diner after. And it's like, I don't want to be hanging out with him. Mm -hmm. There's no sexual anything. There's nothing like that. He's like an open mic. He's like a 45 year old fucking first day and it was just he was the most annoying person we're going out to eat he just starts talking about how he can make women come 13 times i had to i had to go and clap in his face and be like we're done here <laughs> like i don't first of all don't believe you second of all not interested don't even want to imagine you fucking anyone was this <laughs> up sex was this <laughs> yeah Cut it's a person up. you'll never know it's a person you'll never hear about for sure 100 percent that's yeah, something you should just never do yeah is go on a date and talk about somebody else or you know that's yeah. already a red flag yeah. yeah don't do that that's annoying wait so no. um when we did um tiger belly um you guys talked about getting your stuff yanked off of instagram often and even if it's not like a fully nude thing, um, we see a lot of people on there, just good looking people, like full tits out, nipples out, and they, their stuff stays up there. For example, Paige, you did a side by side, you did exact replica of Kendall Jenner's post, and they took yours down, they kept hers. Yeah. And um, I just wanna, I had a thought on my way over here where it's like, you know, if you were to, count or make an appeal you could technically say like what you do the falling the stuff that they consider like violent or whatever it is performance art that is what you do and it's like 
is there a way to appeal it in that way? That's what I've tried to do. Like, even if I have to put, I'm not a, you know, don't try this at home to other people, maybe that would keep it up. But I don't know. They'd take down all my fall videos because I'm putting others in danger <laughs> and scaring old people with my falls, like distress. So I don't know. But with the whole nudity thing, I don't know why that gets taken down. Maybe Didn't they just change it though. Didn't they just make it so that you can put your tits on Instagram? Really? What? Not me. Like they just changed. Well, the hers just got taken like down, and it was color. the exact same thing. And also, it's like, how boring is fucking? How boring is? And then also, there's nowhere to call. Like, it's not like you can try to get to Instagram, but they make it just so hard. Yeah, I wouldn't care if ev the rules applied for everybody, but. It's so unfair. Yeah. And the double standard. That's, that's the thing. Or that's whack. so infuriating too. <gasps> Breast hugging, cupping, and holding to be shown in posts. I had, um, oh, that's from 2020 anyway. Hmm. I had a, oh. Uh, um, oh, I see. That's no. Like, okay, yeah. Let me I had, I had um, the things that have gotten flagged in my thing that have really fucked with my algorithm and my business, which is so annoying, is Whitney Cummings posted something and I, reposted it and wrote duh bitch with a heart flagged yep. like my business is now in jeopardy because i wrote that then that's and all? i wrote back and i was that's all that's then i did i was doing a gig at a casino and it was like there were these like tumbleweed weird gross creepy just like area outside of the casino and i did a promo there where i was like hey guys either see me tonight or you can see my special on dateline when i'm murdered my, I oh. now am literally, my my reach is now like shrunken. Mm. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. of those two things. And it's like, mm -hmm. are you guys fucking kidding me? Well, her whole thing got mm -hmm. taken down. A whole Instagram for yeah. no reason. At a million followers, they just- Taken down. And did you get a At a million, no. they took it down? Mm -hmm. I had over a million followers. And she even asked like, why? Or like, can we talk to the people who and decided? They and they're like, no, no it's just serious? our decision. Dead ass serious. It's been almost a year ago. And Instagram said, um, they told my management, they were like, well, you know, we're not giving her her page back, but here's the link to the community guidelines. Have her read it. But I would have stuff taken down that were like, like a selfie would get taken down. I, I was cooking eggs one day and it got right. taken down for sexual. Well, this is sexual. why I'm thinking that <clears throat> Instagram favors what they consider um, good looking people mm -hmm. to portray themselves in a I don't think the same thing happened with Bobby like he he put a picture of him naked but there was and I edited the photo myself full coverage like I put it a, a emoji over his dick um I think in like uh, only a couple weeks later there was a picture of Steve O full everything out with his girlfriend come like super like sexual and that got didn't get taken down, but Bobby's did almost did instantaneously. Did you see Eric Andre's Valentine's Day post? Oh, with Emily yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw that, Did it stay did up? Launch? Yeah, that was fun. It's Yeah, it's still up. Mm-hmm. But it's covered. And, but he's shown his- But she's she naked in the back. And then she was saying that Bobby's was covered. Bobby's was completely and covered. And then also, Eric has posted his full dick on Instagram. Before. He has. I don't know how long it stayed. Did I think Tommy Lee? Days. Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee. Yeah, I mean, that stayed up for probably like way longer than it should have, I guess. So I just have this theory that who they find attractive stays up. Well, Agreed. you know what? If you had that theory, there's a really good chance that it's true because look at how we keep finding these things out. Like even TikTok has gotten like it's come out that they push things through their algorithm that like the employees like. So I think mm -hmm. all this stuff, nothing is fair. Like, mm -mm. right. Oh no, not it, at it's, all. So it's like, if we suspect that it's probably true. Right. What do we do though? We just be ourselves. I think we join I Trump's. <laughs> they take what that I have down. is the Truth app or whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm getting on Parlor. I told everyone. I said I'll see you on Parlor. Yeah, oh, it is Parlor. I said, I, I said I've had enough. I'll it is so annoying. It's like just quiet at home alone. <laughs> That's it's the... annoying, and it, and it gets in the way of like <clears throat> content and comedy. Like I'll do like skits or you know not even just pictures just like you know comedy and they'll take it down um you know when i first started years ago eight nine years ago people now are like oh your your videos are so different than they were i miss those videos i miss the things you used to do i'm like i can't post that shit i don't anymore. even wouldn't have a place to post yeah it. right it puts you in a creative block yeah yes, you know, yes. you can't truly just be yourself i oh, know it is weird yep. i got one too where i like 
I was holding a pill bottle and there was no, you couldn't see what it was. That got flagged too. Oh my God. You don't know, what is this? It's just, it's to me. You can't swear. Like when you said bitch, that <sighs> they probably it, yeah. flagged that. I For think sure. uh, the last thing that got taken down of mine was like a Mother's Day post where I said like happy Mother's Day or wish your mothers like a happy Mother's Day. And it was a picture of me like cupping Bobby's butt. But he wasn't even naked. It was just a tiny bit of his tattoo on his butt showing. And it was just my hands down his pants, but his ass wasn't showing. I'm like, this is fucking But also, lame isn't, it people, isn't it people reporting it too? Yeah. I don't, I think it's more Instagram. I, I think, think that yeah. they should be, the person who decides to t take it down, they should be like shown you know, yeah. because it's so easy to make a decision behind a computer. I just like, Kylie Jenner. Yeah, you should be Mark talking. Zuckerberg, I'll be a good girl <laughs> and I will be a supportive and healthy, happy, good, pure girl for you. Oh. Thank you for the like. Oh, wow. All <laughs> good, pure girl. All your posts will oh. stay up if you said and that. And you need Thank your you. tomatoes, Paige. What's this for? Uh, She's got tomatoes. Night shades. Banana break. I know what those nightshades for her, are for. For your gas. Oh, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> this one's pretty. We went to. Are Eerie we supposed wines. to eat that? We this? love your one. Yeah. Is it as pretty? Is that large. prettier than your grandmother's pussy? Ooh. Tosh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Go I really think about it. I'm you gonna got go till the end of the. I'll, I'll let you know at the end. You really think about it. Hey, does do, it taste uh, the same? Uh, I was about to say I need. I should have done a taste <laughs> test. We do a banana break just as a. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, if I get demonetized, you get demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, what would you do if you found out that Todd? secretly like me and he didn't even know so it's innocent but that he had a kid that like came forward that would be cool really <laughs> yeah i'd be like oh cool we have a kid i don't have to have or do <laughs> really that much for this is oh my dreams have come true <laughs> how long have i been together um like three and a half years maybe or maybe mm -hmm. three now okay three. i think it's three because it was we kind of were together on valentine's right day because it was right before covid and then he um, so is that four years or three years? Three. She's like, mm, you're asking me math three. and numbers. I, when I, COVID, everyone's like, I feel like COVID was just yesterday or whatever. I'm like, no, no, no. I feel like when I see people, I haven't seen you in eight years. They're like, I saw you three years ago. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, wow, it's been a decade. <laughs> Damn. Would you, how would you feel if you found out your partner like had a kid that the kid that came forward? Wait. Better yet, how about this, Chelsea? You and Greg have been together for what, like 16 years? Yeah. Let's say the kid is eight years old, so somewhere in the middle Ooh, of their relationship. That's obviously, come on. But no, but it was eight years ago now. Oh, it don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really? matter. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Show us on the banana what you do. Don, you said? Oh, dude, just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I wanted that. <laughs> Here, baby. Damn. Uh, woo! Wait, yeah. Paige, are you in a relationship? Yeah. How long? Six years, mm. I think. Um, so let's suppose the kid is five and a half years old, mm -hmm. comes knocking at your door and is like, hey, like, your your man is my dad. I would say uh, you're done. Yeah. You know, I'm not. If he didn't know. Because, I mean... No, I'm just, I just don't want that right Yeah. Now. You know, I don't want to be taking care of a kid, mm -hmm. five, five-year-old. Is it the kids, the thing, or the betrayal of it? Well, I mean, yeah, and the cheating. You got I me there, too. I'm, like, <laughs> so done with being cheated. I'm, like, at this point, I'm, like, if you cheat on me, oh, it's a wrap. Wait, if you, yeah. if I can't trust you and you lie to me once, then you're always going to lie. It's, like, I don't Fuck want to cheaters. lie. Kalila, you're our in-house single girl. How Would you date a guy who has kids? As somebody who just recently went on a couple dates with someone with kids, I wasn't turned off by it only because like I saw like what a great dad he was, mm -hmm. but also like this is going to sound terrible. He has daughters and like I really like I can I don't know like I I I'm good yeah. with daughters and young girls mm -hmm. and I feel like it's very easy to click with them. So, no, I didn't feel any type of way about it, but I would have taken it much slower than had it been a guy with no kids. Like, I would have really, like... What about if it was a boy? ...gone, like, a snail's pace. I would have been more worried, I think, because I just, like, I don't have a lot of experience, like, raising young boys. I have experience raising, like, my nieces, and I feel like I've done, done a really good job. But I just would feel a lot more, like, nervous about, like, big boy energy. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what mm -hmm. to do with that. But... um. 
the snail space thing for sure. Like if he had no kids, we probably would have been far progressed in our relationship. I think that makes sense. You have you kind of have to move slower when someone has kids. I don't know why that like feels right to me. Well, because it involves it's like a more serious commitment because you're also like yes. becoming even if you're not like obviously their parent, you're like co-parenting. I was just talking to someone today about how his stepson, he realized he was an uncle to him. Like he had to give him uncle energy because he couldn't be what his father was. Mm. I thought that was cool. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, and for the kids too, who knows like how much that guy's dating. You don't want to just keep bringing your kid around these new people. Yeah. yeah. That, might, yeah. that might mess up their head a like little bit. Like one a year, but... like a teacher. You yeah. Know what yeah. I mean? yeah. <laughs> one, <laughs> one each grade. One yeah. a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Because I remember my dad like dating people and I was like, who the hell? <laughs> who the hell's this? Did your Pretty mom hard. and dad separate? Yeah, when I was eight. And how many, are you the youngest? Yeah, the okay, youngest. So the after eight. you, they separated. But Let's all your do. brothers, uh, all your siblings are all from the same mom. Uh, My dad had four and then four. So, oh. Yeah. So oh, there's half, eight of you? Yeah. Wow, cool. But I love it. That's like, awesome. We're all, we're all really close. Like show each other buttholes that's really yeah. like you know fun to have that big of a family it's fun it's a lot of fun yeah <laughs> she's now, like what I the, the hell <laughs> i have a friend i have a friend that has a very large family and she was and they're older they're in their 50s and 60s now and they were saying they were like it's interesting throughout your life you become closer to you get like buddied up with each at different times in your life have you found that yeah we all have a different relationship and in a good way yeah I feel though that's why me and Chelsea get along because she's like a motherly Mm -hmm. person and I always attach myself to people who will like take care of me. Yeah. That's her. That's very true. We have that type of relationship. Yeah. Friendship. Yeah. Whether you're new to cannabis or an old pro, I identify as both, honestly. Um, There's no denying that many of the products on the market seem iffy at best. And when you want to relax, iffy is the last way you want to feel. Mood puts an end to guessing games. It's 100% federally legal Delta 8 and Delta 9 THC that you can have shipped straight to you. No doctors, no waiting. It's just affordable, legal THC. And you guys, there's something for every mood. The experts at Mood have tested and tailored different strains for specific moods. Energized for when you want to seize the day, creative to get inspired and mentally stimulated, or even focused, perfect for getting in the zone. I have to say for me with THC, like I really lean into the like direction of the specific strain. Like I really will do a relaxing one for sleepy time. I will creative, like when I'm writing, I will take a creative strain and that just helps me. It really does like open up my mind and stuff. I really appreciate when companies like are able to prescribe what it can actually do for you. Other moods they have are euphoric, erotic. Erotic. You ever pop one of those up in you? Are you kidding? The gummies go in here, Esther. <laughs> go in here. However you like to take THC, mood has you covered. Great for both beginner and veteran users. So... For me, one of my favorite moods that I use with them is energized. That's like if I am doing it during the daytime and I just, you know, want to feel like I'm really going to be active that day, I'll maybe take one, go for a walk, stuff like that. Creative is one that I'll sit down. Even just like if I'm setting up to do my email and like work stuff for the day, I'll throw creative on. It just puts me in like a lighter, happier mood. Well, what's cool about it is they have all these different gummies and stuff and you can actually go into the website and you can find the ones that are for, if you want energy, you want it to be versatile. It's all categorized so it's easy. Yeah, which I really need that when I'm using THC because- (laughs) <laughs> no, because I don't want to just pick any strain and not know like, guess, specifically yeah. what I'm working towards in that moment. And the other moods that are my favorites are euphoric, erotic, sleepy, chill, social, body soother. Like, honestly, not to be too TMI, but erotic is like very essential in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, and great tasting gummies, classic flower, convenient pre-rolls, and so much more. Are you ready for a good time without the guesswork? Order your THC products from Mood today. And for 20% off your first order and free gummies, go to hellomood.com and use promo code Trash Tuesday. That's hello hellomood.com, promo code Trash Tuesday for 20% off your first order and free gummies. You guys, here at Trash Tuesday, 
were a little bit addicted to liquid death. And the fact that they came out with three flavors of iced tea, it's just... It's like it's Christmas in a month that it, we don't deserve Christmas, okay? Now, the cans of iced tea are healthy, unlike a lot of other like other iced teas that are loaded with sugar. These are lightly sweetened with 6 grams of premium agave. They're only 30 calories and provide a microdose of caffeine per tall boy. They're also enhanced with B vitamins. Thank you. We love that. Three new flavors, Grim Leafer, Rest in Peach, Armless Palmer, and you guys, as always, Liquid Death has the cutest merch, cute pink sweaters, skull tees. Liquid Death's new iced teas are available now with free shipping on Amazon and retailers near you. As an added bonus, Trash Tuesday listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase, available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash trash. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash trash. This question probably doesn't apply to Paige, but I was going to ask, did any of you guys ever fantasize about having like a long lost sibling? <laughs> hey, that could fantasize? still happen. Yeah. Um, you, never thought about that. Really? You No? Am I, I the just, only one? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that would fuck up like the beautiful magical balance of my life. It right would now. be, it would be cool. Like it wouldn't, I wouldn't be like... <sighs> get out of here i'd be like okay yeah. but it would Embrace be the it. seeing my because my parents have been together no offense oh uh, i don't i don't give a shit managed, we, we were like, happy my parents grow up or break up no i'm just kidding we were pumped when they got divorced were no you? it was oh, like that yeah. yeah yeah they're they're still good friends that my oh, stepdad great. and mom have birthday parties for my dad they're all good oh i love way it. better yeah I that's cool and you got that. more like more presents, yeah. more fam, <laughs> yeah. three Christmases. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder how I would feel if um, there was a new girl that Bobby was dating, like really being loving towards my cats. You know what I mean? And taking pictures with my cats and posting mm -hmm. it on Instagram. It'll be annoying, but you'd get over it. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> it's gonna happen, Those bitch. It's baby. gonna happen. Yeah. Did I give you permission to yeah. touch my cats? Damn, that would be a weird one. That'd be but hard. that's when you have to like, you have to like, get your ego out of it and just be happy that he is finding someone that is loving. That right. Because yeah. yeah. you wouldn't want them to not like your cat. That is you true. You know, it's like, it's just that like, well, he didn't, wasn't nice to me when I was being nice to my cat. Like he's being nice to her. You know, it'd be yeah. like that type of thing probably. Yeah. Also, in general, like this is sort of an, a thing I'm trying to lean into is like there will never be another person like me. There will always be someone prettier. There will always be someone younger. There will always be someone with bigger boobs, but there will never be yeah. someone else like me. And I feel like if you lean into that and you're like, oh, they're petting that person's petting my cats. Well, <laughs> they're never going to be me. So yeah. go ahead. Right. Yeah. yeah. They're not getting that same thumbprint. Well, what if they got, that's true what if what if the girl got your specific implants put in her body oh, oh you damn. mean okay because i got my titties taken out mm -hmm. now what i still if have them fine that this and girl they're has still broken the into yeah she's gone into the closet the kalila closet well they were supposed to go to theo vaughn he has asked for, to to own my implants. to own them is there like Wait, a body matter in, on it can i get in on the fight no. there is a cause i mean it is i should just auction Done enough. It yeah put them on ebay <laughs> slap those tits on ebay for sure i should huh mm -hmm. they were not great you do have two. two i have so two one i told theo i'd give him one can maybe up? can you reuse them or what well, let's suppose you can. Let's suppose they've been sterilized, right? And then she takes them. She, she takes them. For what like, would you do? Cut them out? And then Bobby's just fully enjoying them? Yeah, Bobby loves, he can't, he's titty fucking. Them. And he, he posts pictures of them. He's like, <laughs> he's look how great my. On. Oh, I love these. There's something familiar about them, but better. Oh. It's something better. You really are making my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, like. Can a, you cut a, them out if you're like, those are mine? Because I know Chris Hansen got in trouble for for stealing license. He did something where he stole a license thing. And and OJ Simpson, his trophy that got sold, he went to jail for stealing it. Can you, once she has it in her body, do you go to jail for chopping it out? Wait, what do you guys think? Back? Like if those are my implants, they, those were not given to her. They're obviously mine. They have a serial number on it. Damn, easiest route, probably just call the cops. <laughs> and what you do I say? You don't think slice, slice first? Uh, 
Because if you're wrong, that's rough. You probably wouldn't yeah. get in trouble. You probably like would not get purple. in trouble for taking them, but you probably get in trouble for slicing her open. The slice. It's the slice that'll get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We should have you around for more legal counsel. <laughs> you're good at this. Thank you. Between the, the two of you, none of us stand a chance. <laughs> I'm going to be in prison for life, double life sentence. Well, I'll be nice about it. I'll go through the nipple. So like the scarring wouldn't show a Isn't lot. Isn't the armpit the nicest way or no? I have mine in my nipple. And you cannot see anything. Really? Yeah. There's no, I'm, there's, I have no scarring on my breasts wow. at all. Do you have sensitivity in your nipples still? I have no feelings around the area that like on the inside oh. here. I don't know why, but you could, you could basically stab me there and I wouldn't feel anything. It kind of sucks. Is that <sighs> even now? Emotional? <laughs> like stab me Even now, I don't really? have like sensation like right on the. What about on your nipple? The nipple I do. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. That's yeah. What size of boobs did you have? Double Ds. And I here's a fucked up part. I wanted Cs. Weird. I wanted full Cs. And I woke up with double so Ds. Awesome. And he said, well, I guess um, when he put the implants there, because I have far apart breasts. And what he said was the full Cs would not give me like a true cleavage. Mm -hmm. And he took um, artistic liberties. What the hell? And I remember waking up and being like, these are too big. I felt claustrophobic. We need one doctor to just do you good. We just need one. one doctor <laughs> multiple finger sizes you, put bigger. Their tits. Yeah. Not can just, oh, I went up a size. Tit picture? Yeah. Do you mind if we look at a picture of you? No, no, no. I can send you guys titty pictures. Mm -hmm. They were huge. I um. How long did you have them in? Uh, under two years. Wow. Because I was like, hey. You never got used to them. them. You never hated liked them. them. Oh, yeah. Hated them, hated the type of... You didn't want them. Like, they gave you something yeah. you didn't want. Do you think yeah. if you had gotten the C's, you would still have them in? Possibly. Possibly. What did he say? Oh, just massage them, they'll go down. Yeah, yeah and, I, and and he told me to massage them, I think, a little bit too hard. Because if you're telling an athlete to, like, you got to go hard, I think I went too hard. I caused, like, some internal, like, bleeding stuff. Because one tit became so hard that it stayed up here and the other stayed nice and soft. Mama's yeah. upset. Yeah. That's mm. that's not good of him to do that. Were he's you, like, boy. were you sleeping when he made that decision? I don't fucking know, but he's a, you know, he's a well-known Beverly wow. Hills doctor. Doctor. I obviously can't say his name because wow. he signed that away too. Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea, you made the mistake of letting me know that you have like a motherly caregiving personality. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious, like, what kind of advice would you give to me as someone who's like perpetually lonely on the inside? Like, so, maybe what would be like a perfect day together that we, what would you Me do? and you? Yeah. Oh my God. Are you a, uh, do you like a physical? Like, is that weird you out? Uh, no, I, cause I, cause like, I like to, the, hug. Well, like, physical like we, I know what I thought. <laughs> no, I need that. I need touch. Like, I would lay on the couch and, like, just, like, cause you're so tiny, you would fit right here just perfectly. <laughs> oh. We could spoon all you day. You should get, like, one of those holders for her. Oh, a little baby strap? Yes. Like Dr. Evil. <laughs> I'm definitely oh fantasizing I, about that kind of a day. I'm serious. Us. And you're so little. And I love like, you know, spooning people. And it, not even a weird. I don't get weirded out. I'll just spoon people. No, totally. Just, but I think you guys should walk around Venice, but you and a baby Bjorn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no walking. Let's walking for a or a stroller. A stroller. <laughs> and I'll, I'll cook you dinner and make your plate. And I'll ask you, did you want mac and cheese? You want another scoop? You want? <laughs> you guys, like, I'm literally having <laughs> physical reactions right now, just like the way you're saying it. And, and I'll like, be like, what do you want to drink? I'll make you a drink. Did you want a straw? I. You know, I'll, <laughs> I'll make you sure you're blushing. fed <gasps> and and snuggled. Oh, oh gosh, that'd be great, dude. Oh, and God. not even weird. Wait, what city do you live in? <laughs> no, you'll have to come see me in Nashville. Okay. Yes. Would Does you run her a bath like a bubble? She oh, loves yeah. baths. Yes. Yeah. Esther Rubber Ducky, all of your toys and stuff. <laughs> Oh. Does your oh, man there not provide? Thing. You do have to wash her hair <laughs> with dish soap, though. There's a there's one caveat. What I you got going on in there? We could do it like it's for social media, but I would definitely love for you to bathe me. Yes. Paige, Paige has oh, a good do question. Do you not let Dave do that for you? He's like not really. He's over it. nurturing. He's. It's just different. Like he would not bathe me. <laughs> Dave what does do a lot. A bath, Dave does do a lot. Dave's he does a lot. Boy. Dave will bring her her popcorn. Maybe not seasoned correct, no, but he'll bring it. He does the. But then it's like, yeah, I have a lot of needs. I don't yeah. think one person is enough. Could you need like a Todd because Todd will? There's not like an end to the things he's doing. So like he can bring me something, and then there's another thing that could be brought. And <laughs> another. Yeah. Thing and then it's like fuck. I'll just do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> At and then that every point. once in a while, he's like. 
like I'm done and I'm like okay like <laughs> that's it no more from you yeah yeah well you no guys more. you Chelsea you and Annie have a lot in common and I found this out yesterday you guys are obsessed with crab legs <gasps> it's my number one favorite thing in the king industry. crab legs listen or I'm what a do snow you... crab but I'll do king too but king is sometimes too salty for me so whoa I know it's offensive Okay. But I also think I can get so much more and I feel like so much of the king crab is like the weight of it is the shell. Yes, and you're and you are right on that. Um I love all crab legs. I mean, I will do the crab claw. I'll if, if crab claws are on the menu, I'm ordering all yes. any any crab. King is my number it's one. The number though. one, obviously it's the king. Yes, it is the king. Um oh god. You know about the I, shortage. Yes. It's upsetting. Well, yeah, oh yeah, and if if prices double, <laughs> oh no, there's guess who's spending money? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> money doesn't factor into this at all. Okay, over the pandemic in the beginning, I was still very, I was struggling. It was in my struggling phase. When I got my check, my Trump check, I was in a line. There was a line of people. All of us had our checks. We were in line at Hot and Juicy, which is now <laughs> R.I.P. Hot and Juicy's gone. We would okay. I know Hot, hot and Juicy legs. closed down. So like, what has been your alternative for mm -hmm. crab legs? You know, I just, we just, you go on Postmates, there's a couple near closer to Can us. Can I anywhere. suggest, have you guys ever been to like the um, San Pedro um, Pier? I've been mm. in San Pedro myself. You can just choose okay. um, whatever seafood and you have them cook it whatever way no, you want. No, where is this? No. In San Pedro at the Births. Birth. Where, like, birth. The birth. Gotta go. Yeah, but it's always heard. where I go with my family for seafood. It's really fun. But yeah. since hot and juicy has gone under, but I was I wanted to ask you guys about casino buffets. Mm -hmm. Um, is there um, <laughs> best case scenario? I, I don't think too. <laughs> yeah, I love the... is there a strategy that you have? Is there a favorite casino buffet? And is there a strategy of how you attack a buffet? What's how do you open? How do you close? It's crab legs and you open with crab legs and you close yes. with crab legs. Yes. No carbonated water, no carbonated beverage. Wait, take, why? Oh, because it gets takes you. Takes a broom. And okay. Something. No bread. Mm. I no don't bread do, up I don't front. Do, I don't do bread. No. I'm telling you, I will do like one or two things, but I'm getting them just kind of to have look like I have a variety, but I'm going, I'm, I'm, I would say 99.9% .9 crab leg. Also, crab sorry, I know that this is like not environmentally friendly or whatever, but I have a policy where whenever I go back up, I start with a new plate. I want to start over. I want to have a fresh slate. Oh, I respect sure. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm a fresh plate guy. I like to mm -hmm. listen, I'll get a fresh plate, but I'll leave that shit on the table. I want to see my mess. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. want to I like up. to see, I'm proud of my mess. Yeah, it's yeah. a trophy. At a buffet, mm -hmm. like I want you to know I'm getting my money's worth, I'm getting it all, but I will, I mean, the piles of crab legs. Yeah. Your and favorite. it's not like take a few. Yeah. No, no, no. And the prime rib. Those prime are my top rib. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top two. Carving stations have. Yes. Food. But carving stations are not an opener. Um, you kind of are like maybe, uh, maybe right in the middle, I think yeah. halfway. What is your favorite casino buffet? Um, well, because I, I did so Old many country. growing up. We went to so many and like you know, different parts of Illinois. You're like, where's dad? <laughs> Where'd daddy go? <laughs> but I haven't done any of the elite Vegas ones because I think like, I well, maybe I went to the win once with Dave, but um, I just, I do feel in my heart of hearts that actually like all of us, I was going to say this about us three, but you guys are included in this too. Doesn't it feel like we all potentially could have met each other at a casino buffet? <gasps> oh, like that's how sure. all of these friendships yeah. started at a yeah. casino buffet. Look at us. I can see yeah. that. Yes, yes. It yes. is my happy mm -hmm. place. Just walking into a casino in general. It's like, ding, 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 ding. I'm so happy. Oh, the smell. So, oh, everything's perfect. I love Vegas. But I will say as a baby, I think we could really open those crab legs for you, have the meat ready for you. You don't like crab legs? I've never had them. <gasps> but do you think it's the chore of it Well, all? the experience of having someone actually get it out for you is really something Kalila, you Kalila, you have to catch them though. You <laughs> kill them. <laughs> Why well, catch lobster? Can I can't get crab. Crab's a can little I bit deeper. A, um, Spiny lobster, yeah. Can I have a lobster? Yeah. Do you guys cook them? We're going on three ever? years. I, Yourself? Three years. Um, yeah, if I go get my own lobster, I, I'll, I'll cook them I myself. Will, we, we'll, we'll go oh, get Spiderman. lobsters and we'll boil yeah, There's a way. I, like I lobster? Yeah, yeah, I like oh, crab better, I but yes, I like lobster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you gotta have food. crab legs, honeys. Okay. I know. I'm not okay for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. It's, but you can, you know the type of girl that she is, she's explaining it. So there's like a, it's, there's a lot of work to do. So maybe it needs to be. Well, more. I think and, I've just, I, the like touching no, the. There's a little thing. 
Okay. It's like, yeah. Cool. And, and there's a way to do it. There's a strategy. You. There's a way. Once you know what you're doing, it's nothing. Do you like and activity like foods like sunflower seeds? Oh, like pistachios? Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. activity foods. Oh, and it's yeah. Like crab legs are, are, are part thing. of Homework that. Homework food, yeah. Yep. Sometimes you just don't get enough, though, like on artichokes. Oh, uh, that's so annoying. It's so good, and there's so little there. I know. I'm getting stressed Life out. hack. I, got I started little. just chewing my artichoke. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to eat the bad part. I'm I'm just, <laughs> I just, last time I got artichoke, I was like, I, fuck you, artichoke. I will just crunch this. It's stabbing you on the way. Oh. Ooh, you're just bleeding. Like, oh. I don't fucking care. I'll See, do- this is why I eliminate all of that frustration. I go to Trader Joe's, and I get their grilled artichoke, and it's just all the hearts, but grilled, and it has that same joy. Joy of it's, it's there's no so there's no way much it's the same better joy. You uh, Annie, pluck, pluck, plucked I'm uh, yeah because it's not quite an activity you didn't food. like but just please try it. to Trader Joe's like grilled artichoke okay. Okay. it is such a joy is the frozen? frozen yeah it's We're not frozen, frozen. no 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 it's in a it's, 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 it's an oil it's okay. uh, yeah it's okay. saturated in oil it's delicious okay I'm excited I'll try it yes me too because I go by the jar of mm. artichokes put it in pasta mm. yep exactly good i would like i would just i want like to your bun crab legs right now I'm oh so pissed there's not just a pile of crab legs right here are you dipping are you a butter guy course, oh yes. I'm, I'm dipping my whole hand yes in the everything's in the butter and sometimes they put the garlic and it's like look i'm not gonna be mad at you if you do it but i just need regular butter i'm fine with yep see i'm same. I'm with her. I mean, we talked about the crab boil yesterday. Because then you have a lot of like burpage afterwards. Um, yeah. I, this is why like I like boiling crab, but I'm not obsessed with boiling crab because I really do like the flavor of just a seafood with butter. Oh, and yeah. the option for garlic Nothing. and spice if I need it. Yeah. Naked with the butter. I love Damn, garlic. Damn, that sounds good. I am like. I love garlic. Damn. When we're not eating crab legs. Oh my God. I'm but, having like, I'm starting to get sweat. We should have just had a crab boil. I know. This is it. Just filmed a crab my boil. Aunt, my <laughs> auntie will make, she calls it the dump. She puts like sausage, crab legs, shrimp, potatoes, corn, mm. put some spices in everything, and then she just dumps it on the table. That's what we, that's it. Yeah, the crab boil. Yes. I guess. Crab boil. We, do, we do it in my backyard all the time with my so best friend, good. Corey, and he does it so well. It's such do a it. joy. Guys, mm. I'm sick. It's good uh-huh. to have friends that can cook. Who's the best cook out of you three? It's got to be her because I've had her food. <laughs> <laughs> There's a salt and sugar issue here. <laughs> uh, you get them mixed up, honeys. <laughs> I What's- made her some vegan cookies in the pandemic, and I thought they were the best cookies I've ever. It was had. like I thought it was like a joke. I was like, "Are we kidding?" It's like gummy and dry at the same time. They were a really unique consistency. I think you just accomplished making them. You were so excited. <laughs> I cooked a lot in the pandemic, but it was very, you know, experimental. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a good cook? I am. That's something that I'm really proud of. I cook every day. I also, uh, I cook every day of my life. What do you Today I'm making chicken tenola, which is like kind of like a soup. (laughs) It's with, uh, it's chicken thighs with um, the regular mirepoix, which is the uh, carrot, celery, and the onions. And then I add ginger and um, cabbage. Oh. And it's just a very soothing kind of cold weather meal. That's what I'm making tonight. A, a, like a chunk Whoa. of like cooked ginger and something really. Ginger is everything. It cuts through I love everything. It. But um, lemongrass, do you put any lemongrass? Oh, I cook a lot good. with, sometimes I cook with lemongrass, but I cook a lot of Filipino food. Yeah. Because it's like comforting to me. I love uh, stews. I'm a stew queen. Is mm. that dish you just described a Filipino dish? Uh, a, a, a version of it. It usually has this other leaf called malungay, which is like a small little baby leafy thing, but I, I don't find it um, easily here. And it has, a, are you, have you guys heard of chayote? Chayote is like a, a we call it sayote, but it's like a green kind of squash. Uh-uh. Um, but it's very soothing. Mm. I wish I could cook for you guys. Mm. Please do. Yes. One time we'll, we'll contribute. Dude, next we'll time we'll have a crab chefs. boil and you can make us a stew. I, I would love me. that. I'm dead serious. Yeah, we never have a crab boil. Like, yes. But yeah, we got to get, we gotta yeah, get the fun. seafood from like the Asian market. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yes. Go to San Gabriel. I'm going to have Todd's mom there. take me to a seafood market and yeah. get me the the craziest thing. I would trust Todd's mom. Oh, she's she's my favorite restaurant. She's everything. How's Todd doing? He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even met him. Todd, How's he doing? Todd's my whole heart. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, he posted a very cute thing. I love my Todd. Aww. He's so cute. Oh, how do you guys meet? He worked at the comedy store. He was in the basement. I said, you're not supposed to be down here. 
and I plucked him. And I said, if you want to meet my friends, I have to not meet yours. <laughs> and then we just, we just ushered him up into life. Now he's an Emmy Award winner. Oh, hell wow. yeah. Wow. Netflix shows. He works on my solo podcast, Annie Wood. Yeah, he's the best. That's he's spruced awesome. up from that basement. I knew. I saw him. I go, I just got to get you out of here. <laughs> get you up. I didn't have to, like, I didn't pitch him to anyone. He just got around wow. people and they just smelled his talent. And, you wow. are. You're That's kind awesome. of a kingmaker, Annie. That's awesome. I just saw it. I was like, I just need to get them there. And then I just can be hands off. Uh -huh. That's it how wouldn't you found me mattered. in a basement. I found you uh, close to the... Uh, loitering around the basement area. That's true, actually. Exactly. We met right where you met actually, Todd. Actually, right, like, steps away from where I met Todd. And I said, you're supposed to be down there. <laughs> <laughs> you pushed me down? The by the way, are those stairs not the most fall-downable stairs? At the comedy store, which, by the way... Don't tell Paige that. Be <laughs> we'll be here for a couple days. If you want to come to the comedy store, I'm there Wednesday. Are you there Wednesday? I'm there tonight. I didn't go. I don't think I'm Oh, because your tomorrow. boyfriend's out of town? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I wanted to go, but then I was like, Todd, should we like, I don't know, have anal or do something? Mm, something yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want anal for college. Um, is, is anal still on the table for you and Greg and for you and your boyfriend six years in, 16 years in? It's um like once every couple years type of thing. Okay, that makes just sense. Like, That's uh, reasonable. Maybe if we revisit this, it'll be different. <laughs> yeah. It's still the same. Yeah, but I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. it it's not off the table for sure, but. It's not like the first thing that pops into my it's head. It's not an appetizer. You know? Like it's definitely has to be a, for a special event. Mm -hmm. My buttholes must be tight or something because it. It's not. It hurts. Yes, you know. Yeah. Not. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know that it's like a loose, tight butthole thing. I think it's a ability to relax the muscles, but I don't mm. have that. There's no relaxation. Yeah. I don't think my brain like goes to my asshole. There's no way I no. can relax my sphincter. It feels like my yeah, it feels like my asshole's on its own. Oh, it's like man. its own island. It has its own brain, its own it's, thoughts. Yeah. yeah. And they're yeah. not front <laughs> with mine. Yeah. And they're not matched up. You can take poppers, I heard. Oh, Which I, I would so like to just curious. take, what? honestly. Has anyone here angle. had that? What? What does poppers do? I guess it relaxes your I sphincter someone, muscle. I think yeah. I know someone in the room that's had poppers. I have. Oh, for real? Yeah. This is a good look. Was it good? And what happened? I, I mean, I didn't have anal sex, but I just got really hot. Oh. Yeah. You didn't just... put anything in your butt at all? No, I mean... Huh. I He's so full of shit. This is where we find Carlos. I would tell you anal, gay, crazy shit. Okay. Talk about syphilis with you. Not <laughs> right. Huh. Okay, syphilis is for everyone. Did it do something oh. to your butt? What is a pop? Oh. I didn't experience Whoa. that. I was just like No tingle in your butthole at all. No. Guys, I've been no, jumping on a trampoline. Tingle. I got to tell you like all of your body, you get it fucked up from it. It feels good. Mm -hmm. I got a trampoline like one of those mini trampolines and it was making me really horny to bounce on it. I think cuz maybe like air was going inside of me. I was getting yeah. like, air fucked. I was like, oh my God. Pussy lips so were horny. jiggling and yes, everything was like, really? They were sw swinging up. Yeah. <laughs> smacking me. <in> the, <laughs> the wind was, they were back winded and they were whipped forward. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've never felt that. Hmm. Never wow, you've never page. lived. You're, yeah. not, you're not jumping hard enough. I need to jump you're higher. Not, yes. You've never jump been higher. air fucked? No, I need I'll to You're more of a ball right down. I'm going to fly up. You got to fly up more. Maybe you guys could double bounce me. <laughs> we'll get you through the roof. I'll go through the fuck to the moon. <laughs> Holy moly, dude! But it was like I was like, is this a thing? I haven't looked it up. Will you look up if bouncing makes you horny or why it would? <laughs> bouncing makes you. It horny. should. It should. It really was like a. Well, my I'm going to Rolfing where this guy's like doing this. It's like a really deep like. It's a series of um, massages where they go and they're trying to like figure out structurally what's going on with your body and they go deep into the fascia and like reset where your bones are. What's it called? It's where? called Rolfing, like Rolfing. roll on the floor laughing ing. <gasps> and um crazy. It's more just about exercising and it was the oh, specific yeah. bounce. Well, you know what it kind of is? You know when you're on a roller coaster, you get kind of horny right Yeah. Well, it yeah. was like that. I don't feel that on roller coasters at all. Are you motion sick? No, I'm terrified for my life. I'm trying That's to just survive. That's the part. That doesn't mean that <laughs> yeah. I'm squirting all over the place. Okay, yeah. Listen, on my deathbed, it will be wet. Let's just say. Oh, my I'll God. I'll be in the wet spot. I will wow. be in the wet spot. I love it. I love really My boyfriend, Todd, who we were talking about. Todd. is uh, my Todd. Todd. He is motion sick, so he can't go on roller coasters. Mm. And it's so Wait, sad. Wait, me and Todd could sit by ourselves I was. Bench. Do you think that I didn't immediately think that when you are you were in my peripheral and I was saying that? <gasps> But I was thinking about that because I just, it's so, I just love being scared. But Todd likes, 
He likes slasher. He likes to be scared. He just can't do the motion. Not part. a physical. He can't do the physical. Right. Wait, that's actually surprising because I, I or no, I think there's like this um, study that says couples who. I remember this. Yes, if they both, it's better. You're more compatible if you both like horror or if you both like like right. rides. But I think it is because he can't go. It's not yeah. that he doesn't like. The fact yeah, that he likes He has the personality of someone that would like a ride. Yeah. He just physically is. He's like the can't fucking control. puke boy. I'm like, yeah. I can't believe I'm gonna marry puke boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because mm. growing up, you know, you that friend. <laughs> you're you're marrying Todd. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get the roller coaster. Yeah. We're like just pre-engaged. Me. We have a ring. I was pre-engaged. Or we have a ring, but he has to get it put together. Yeah. Been pre-engaged with every guy I've ever met. Well, listen, to the, I know Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be lucky, Carlos. Did you get a fender? Able to slap him across the room. He was about to get sent up to the moon. Are, um, we're gonna double bounce you, Carlos, if you ever say that again. Double bounce. Are there things you guys find hot in, like weird things you find hot in men that you think others would be like, "What the fuck"? Mm. Maybe like, Cleft like it. a physical thing. No. Yes. Yeah, it looks like he's been through something, but it was he was just born with it. A cleft lip. You came in fighting. You mm. came in in a knife fight. Let's go. But buddy. I feel like Joaquin Phoenix and the other guy from your. Um, but Joaquin also has that thing too. From what? Um. Um. My best friend's wedding. From my best friend's wedding. Yeah. Dermot Mulroney. Yes. Yes. Him. So my best friend's wedding kind of ruined my life. Do you remember the movie? Vaguely, I know what you're okay, talking. Okay. Do you remember about. the premise of the movie? Mm -mm. So the Did premise of shit? the movie is spoiler, guys. It came out in 1990. Fucking sick. Paige oh. hates movies. Yeah, she's not a movie. Oh. I don't hate them. I, I just cannot stay awake. <laughs> I don't like, don't ever talk to me like that again. I love movies I now. love movies now. At me, <laughs> twirling her hair. Yeah. Bitch. But are there any weird things that you're just like, wow, I find that so hot in a guy, but maybe. Um, not maybe like not quite the cleft palate thing, but maybe like if they take off a hat and like, it's like sweaty, mm. that that's kind of attractive sometimes. He's but, been working in the mm. field. He's been, he's been uh, out there on the tractor. <laughs> no. He's been on the tractor or maybe he's sweating because his penis got stuck in the <laughs> in, in, <laughs> in zipper. In zipper and he reminds her of her day. <laughs> or like chest. I don't know. I like hair kind of. Yeah, I like big noses. Me too. Yeah, Love but a that's big nose. very on trend. That's when very they have like that bump. Oh, yes. look at mine. Even in, in women, yes. That is, ever since I was a little girl, I have been so, I thought that was so beautiful. Yeah. You want to fuck my nose? I would. I'd let you. I'd rub my clit on it. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to get, and I didn't bring it in time. I didn't get it in time. But I wanted to get edible underwear and see if I could make you guys eat each other out. <laughs> Who? You. Me, oh, me they could just watch. Come on. I'd watch. Well, I'd watch. No, I sure. like, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, Paige, but I do think that your you nose is really beautiful and it's like very attractive. Thank you. Have you I can ride always it too? told you that? <laughs> Everyone can have a ride. I love I've a good prominent that. nose. I like what yes. you the biggest thing. And Todd doesn't have like an outward big nose, but it's like, it's like wide and like round and it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is the plot of my best friends? Okay, so the plot of my best friends that ruined my life. So it's, it's these the guy and girl friends growing up. And um, they have gone separate ways, Julia Roberts and Dermot Moroni. And sh Julia Roberts gets a call from Dermot Moroni. Hey, I got to talk to you. They're both turning 30, I think. I got to talk to you about something. Give me a call back. Miss you, love you, whatever. Hangs up. She's talking to her gay friend. She goes, oh, I I have this friend. And we had this thing in college where like, if we didn't weren't married by 30, we would get married. And then she's like, wait. That's why he's calling me like, I'm not ready to get married. So she's like so nervous about it. So then she finally like calls him back and it turns out he's like, I met the love of my life. I'm getting married to Cameron Diaz who's like bubbly and like stupid and cute. And so now she's like, wait, you're not gonna marry me. Then she gets so jealous. And then she's like pissed that he's marrying this girl mm -hmm. and then it's all about like letting go the whole thing is and about why did that ruin your life because i was in that my whole i my whole like young adult life was me like pining over one of my guy friends feeling like we were going to end up together and then they like meet someone and then feeling like never like getting it i mean mm -hmm. i got over that but you're not waiting for that call <laughs> oh god she found no. todd yeah no i found my guy but also if I, any of them called me i would say i got <laughs> over that about 10 years ago but yeah it was just like i remember watching that movie and being like this is my life. Oh, I need to rewatch it. I know it, it sounds really good. good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I saw when really I was good. so little that I don't remember mm -hmm. anything about it. Same. Just a little. Thank you. <laughs> Another great rom com that is um, one of my favorites is with Cameron Diaz as well as The Holiday. 
Oh yeah. yeah, that one's a really sweet one. Like, mm -hmm. I just love her. Yeah, Cameron. Write that great. down. Okay. The best Cameron Diaz okay. movie, though, come on, is the sweetest thing. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. that's like yeah. a crazy girl movie. Yeah, yes. with Christina Applegate. Yes. Yeah, and uh, yes, yeah, Alma. Yeah, didn't she get she gets her tongue ring stuck on a dick? Uh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's something they did a couple years ago? Both got MS. Uh, oh, maybe that too. Oh, I but didn't want to bring it up, but it is. They have MS. Two out of three have MS. Who? Who? Um, Cameron Diaz? Oh, Christina Applegate and Selma Blair. And I wish them well, but Cameron, you better that. get yourself checked, bitch. What the hell's going on here? The Wait, sweetest thing. How did they get that? I don't know. The I didn't fact know that. that you delivered it like a joke. <laughs> they both have MS? <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't even that know that. A, a complete but it's whole like, life. you're right. They like, do. How did this happen? Maybe on Page. set or something. Anyway, they're when, just, they when it was from the, craft services. Yeah, craft services. When was the first time you discovered that you were a fart artist? And why do we have tomatoes right next to you? Well, we familiar ass because I yeah we can do that too. Um, <laughs> that tight butthole. Well, let's see how tight that butthole is. Yeah, I guess we'll figure out figure that one out. Um, At what age were you like? I think I can do this, and this is a life path for me. Well, when my sister was pregnant, I think like five years ago, I'm like, you know what? I need to fart the, out the baby baby powder to like. You know, everyone was doing the gender reveals at that time. Huge, you oh, know. Oh my god! This and I wanted to make a make fun of it yeah so that's when i farted the blue powder out of my butt <laughs> yes. and i'm like i have to do this before nobody else that's nobody strange. else is probably even thinking about it but, <laughs> right <laughs> right <laughs> but, but that's when i first did it and once you do something you know people latch on now i can't even do anything with where's the fart <laughs> yeah what are you tired wait wait no fart. are you no tired fart. of farting then are you are you are you at you're a point in your life where you're like you know what like yeah, i don't want to fart hospital. anymore no, because I, I'm going to try to make some money off of it while well, I can. The girl who was selling her farts, <laughs> she almost died. Oh, that that was the girl from... Um, she was from a reality show. She was farting in jars and she almost died. From, from, it was the 90 Day Fiance one, the girl who, was, who went to Australia. Um, but she started uh, monetizing her farts. And I think her diet consisted of just really gaseous foods, like onions and beans for breakfast. Careful, that might be a bubble that never pops. Yeah, wow. that could be me. Wow. Tomatoes make me fart. But I don't know if anyone else Brought is em. doing fart art the fart. way you are. Yeah. Yeah. They're farting in jars, but you found a way to really make it artsy. There really is yeah. something very Maria Abramovich about you. You really are this like performance artist. The way you fall isn't just like, I was oh. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> there is, <laughs> is there a cancer cluster? <laughs> no, okay. No, I think that like it, there are people where you can watch videos and be like, all right, like, they your full commitment you throw Thank your you body know, into situations like i've watched starts leaking. <laughs> i've grown up like watching jackass and those guys kind of don't have anything on you they need to do better they do need to do better <laughs> and i cannot believe they didn't pick you to be on on the on that last movie i'm like you guys were you in the running did you even know it was happening uh a little because i talked to steve-o's manager sometimes but like I think they maybe wanted me to go do something with what's his name, Zach Ass. Yeah. But it wasn't like falling. I think it was maybe going down a skate like a fifty foot skateboard ramp, which I'm not a skater. Yeah. So not very smart yeah. for me to just okay, sure. But you, you don't know, really have a whole lot of Yeah, like, let me go bash my face for this. But you don't have a whole lot of like fear around like being physically hurt because you launch your no, body. Because with the falls doing. I don't get really hurt. Just like a couple bruises, you know, on the knees. But other than that, I'm good. Do you fall yeah. like do you have like a little technique? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a else? technique. Is it arms first? It's my legs first. Yeah. Like for as long as my um, hips and stuff hit the ground then it's like yeah. and do you look happened. back at your tapes and you're like that was a good fall that wasn't a good fall and what's been your favorite fall yeah definitely um Legends yeah definitely fall. Let's call the segment Legends, of the, <laughs> Legends um, of the fall the in and out fall was probably the, have you seen that one probably the, no can we pull up the in and out fall i love Carlos? that's bobby's favorite one too. i never Thank like you. yeah it's on instagram I did used to do Pratt Falls. I did a bet with this guy at the comedy store where we had to do this was like four or five years ago. We had to do could be eight, who knows? Um, we had to do <laughs> three Pratt Falls in one week coming onto the stage of the comedy store and we could not acknowledge that we did it on purpose. So you would just bomb for fifteen minutes afterwards. 
But I never did it like I never got hurt hurt, but I had no method and it was like a matter of time. But I was able to, and I would always bring cup on for effect. I'd have a cup of water and trip and get it all mm-hmm. in front of me. And you can't warn the person before you either. That's the thing. Like the things you're holding That's is what makes the Here we go, S. and the sound. So Definitely. Wait, I actually can't see because the camera. Oh. God, yeah, it's so good, Paige. You got to get a full Whoa. a full tray of things, and then have your hair out whipping. Yep. <laughs> Wait, that is like as a person who's a trained dancer, like that is beautiful choreography. But you, you should you just go Damn. through all of her falls, okay. and I'm telling you, it's artful. It is. No, that's not. That's fucking skill. And now, how long after are you, you holding was... the? I just fell the whole time. I. I just go to, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so and, embarrassed. And people yeah. are like, my tampons. this is so embarrassing. I dropped all my tampons. Yeah, I'm just gaslighting them so I don't mm-hmm. get kicked out. Oh, wait, this right. is it, you and Chelsea. This isn't, yeah. where is this? Are you guys Ocean friends? Beach. Do you know Ed Ocean Bassmaster? Yes. Yeah, we de- oh, actually did day. something Love. with him, but Love. never yeah, got to see it. I think it would be cool to do the fall and then like everyone saw and then like ask someone on a date. Like do the most and make it even worse. Will you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> She's so horny. If, and if, so <laughs> if no one tries to help her up, she'll literally just go. You like hold hold up her hands like, <laughs> like and they'll come over and help her. That's what I funny. know. The skate. Yeah, I'm going. definitely afraid to like go like ah because yeah. If you put people in distress, then they're taking it down. Oh, yeah. whack. Mm-hmm. So I just have to silently fall, and she'll come up and. We do a whole thing where she'll hold a Starbucks and then... Or a big gulp. And then she'll be like, you almost made me spill my big gulp. This is 287. <laughs> and people will be like, oh my gosh. And she's like, I'll beat your ass too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We need to do another one. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. This old lady yell at me once on, on that video in Ocean Beach in San Diego because I was like kicking her where she fell. She oh, fell yeah. into me. I and I, fall and, she and they don't know we know each other right. and that we're, you know. And so I was kicking her and this lady, this old lady just got so mad at me. Well, I, what I, I even like was like, fuck you, lady, or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun, dude. It's fun to get in public. Yeah. I used to have this boyfriend in college, <laughs> and this is very tame, but we would just. We just knew that we had this agreement that we may get in a fake fight at any point, any time in public. <laughs> so we'd just be like at Home Depot and everything would be fine. I'd be like, fuck you. And it'd be like, we just create, like we would yeah. improvise mm-hmm. whatever the fight was going to be about. Like my grandmother was dying. You said I couldn't go. She's fucking dead. She's dead. You know, we didn't have cell phones or anything really. That's the best really though. Yeah. That's fun. Those memories. I would beg my friends. I'd be like, let's do a fake fight. We'd be in the cafeteria. Come on, let's do it. And no one would do it with you. But I was you just got in a real fight with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, Esther, you're being a bitch about this fake fight thing. <laughs> I love that shit. I want to do pranks uh-huh. with you guys. I'll follow. Oh, dude. Okay. I'd love to do shit with you guys. Let's do it. Let's plan for that. I'm like trying to get more like, because I have it in me to be pranky, but then there's this like little part of me. You know, I know that you battle with this like, little part of you like, like, oh, are people going to get like upset? And then you have to like push through that. And once you push through, it's always the funniest thing in the entire It's just got to look real. And they yep. they can't know that you're filming. And, and you that... want to do it. Yeah. You want to like, there's that instinct for me at least to be like, it's fake, you know, but then you're like, mm mm. I I don't, we never tell people that we're, we're, nothing. Yeah, ever. Because if you say it's fake, they're like, okay, well, we need you to sign this, do right, this. And yeah. No, it's all real and you're getting the hell out of yeah, there. I wish I had stayed with this, but I I, I gave in. But I, I had um this guy, Damien Leone, who did Terrifier 2, which is this like movie I'm obsessed with. He does these slasher, slasher makeup and stuff. So I had him do all the effects on my face, like where my face was all cut up. And it was for my podcast, but then... I had a spot that night and I didn't want to take the makeup off. So I was like, I was like, I'll just go to the comedy store with it on. So I had my face like all sliced up on stage and I made it. I pretended that uh, Leslie Jones had beat me up beforehand because she was <gasps> ahead of me. But I only let that go for like a minute because everyone was so worried about me. Oh, like it's hard. They wow. did look really real. I saw your story yeah, and I was like, like mm, if I know Annie at all, I know this, this is, is definitely a, fake. I was yeah. a little smiley. <laughs> um, but then I go on stage and then. I like reveal and then there's a guy in the front row whose face is sliced up. Oh, he had gotten hit by a car the week before. I was like, what are the fucking chances that you're sitting right here right now? And his face was just, it was so crazy. Hit yeah. by a car? I did. No, I 100% did. Yeah, you, like that's too crazy. It always wow. happens like that. Hey guy got hit by a car and still showed up. Yeah. Do yeah, that's you? how much he loves comedy. Big fan. I know I'm like, slugger, <laughs> ew. I was like, ew, did you come for me? <laughs> I saw somebody Ew. get hit by a car in L.A. 
Really? Mm -hmm. Did they live? She had two masks on. That's how much she wanted to live and got hit by a car. (laughs) (laughs) And and did the car have a double mask? The car mask? Oh, double masked. What? You know, cars have those bras. Yes. Car mask. That had two on two. Like, oh my God. It probably obscured her her line of vision because it was probably so high up here and she didn't have like peripheral vision. The car ran a red light. Oh, the fuck. car hit her and bounced back, and she's just laying there. And I, th- I don't think people really wanted to, to touch everyone her. Everyone was like, "We're filming." Yeah, everyone started going <laughs> up to her like that. Oh. Well, I'm it's like, kind oh, of shit. tricky when you go like when it's like a someone who could have broken their neck. Yeah, you're not you don't supposed want to, to move them. them. Mm-hmm. So, like, and especially if you're somebody like if you're a regular citizen trying to help, you're protected. But if you're someone who's a nurse yeah. and you fuck something up, then you could be in trouble. So you there's always can't that just one psycho that's like, "Give me a big pen." <laughs> right. Goes, oh, so, like, my sister. <laughs> so, if someone's on the plane in like medical, like in need of anything medical, my sister is not being like, "I'll help." She always is just like, if they call and there no one else stands up, then I'll go. But there's always like a... A legal... Yeah. She, she's, that's a law. Yeah. yeah. That's good to know. So if I'm ever in a situation, I'm going to be like, who's the nurse who's <laughs> hiding? They could have yeah. at least like popped off one mask for some breathing. <laughs> Maybe. Did her yeah. mask stay on? Stayed on. Wow. Yeah. She Ooh. had a tight... Damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And did we... Do we know the outcome? I, I it wasn't looking good when I oh, saw no. when I saw the car bounce back. Oh, you know that's not car good. bounced back. That's when you know. Was she big? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, an, damn, an, an older, shorter, bigger lady. Yeah, that sure. woman's dead. She's passed. Oh, oh R.I.P. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. God bless. Well, Paige, um, I. I'm looking at those tomatoes and tomatoes make me shit blood. They really do. It's the one food. I can't have like tomato sauce on anything because <laughs> yeah. I just straight up shit blood. They're nightshades. I don't like nightshade. I love the taste. I don't think it matters whether you like them. I don't think they like you. Right. I don't think they like me it's either. Not the and tomatoes? I'm You're looking kidding? at them and I don't want you to eat them because I don't want you to be gassy and uncomfortable. I and want you to be farting. To fart? And- oh, she's been eating on them. Oh, you have been eating. Have you? It. Yeah. Eating on them Wait, is so funny. To I, say. I know it's just how you talk, but I could probably fall. <laughs> eating on. Them. I have to leave early. To, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Esther's got to go eat on her day. I oh, to go, uh, masturbate to this conversation. And you're taking donut. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's okay. So all they they only have each other. They've Can I hold her real quick before you leave? Yeah. Were you gonna try to fart though? Um, are, are, are we farting I, or what? I'm telling you right now, Paige, if I eat that, it's not fart that's going to come out. It's, it's going to be blood pure red scary. squirting onto canvas. I, do you need to fart, Paige? I could definitely try right now. I think at least give it a go. We got to give it a go after all this chat. chat, chat yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And this. if there's anything I can do to help you, like assist you in any way, like I'm game. Okay, I'll let you know for sure. Sometimes the heart's <laughs> instant, <laughs> and sometimes we'll be here for 30 minutes waiting Listen, on I'm heart. waiting. I'm <laughs> waiting on Sit back. No, I think it's coming for real. Okay. But oh, I right. will and say I did not take a doo-doo before this, so if it smells like poop. straight doo-doo. Oh, that's fine. A poop fart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are Oof. not good. You know, uh, Esther, for, for someone who says she loves human smells, I really feel like she would have really- <laughs> She bounced, it. dude. Can I just tell We you, could bottle Esther, it up. I, we're getting Esther around a corpse because I'm calling that bluff. Around a corpse. There's not a fucking chance she'd be chill around a corpse. Uh, on her birthday, take blindfold her like you're going to take or something. We have a great <laughs> surprise for your your biggest wish. And then leave her at the- just have a, a cold morgue. morgue. Yeah, leave her. But we should rig it to just a fuck with her where there's like something poking into the hand oh so we can my the hand come up. She wouldn't forget. Esther seems game for a surprise. This girl, her friends wouldn't have that fake fight with her because if you surprise Esther in the wrong way, <laughs> you'll have three years off of Esther. <laughs> Aww. Esther will closer. hibernate away from you. <laughs> she's so she's sweet. a surprise hibernator. <laughs> yeah, she's the best. She's sweet. What we got? No, she's oh. a little munchkin. Oh, what color are you? Hobby want? Lobby. I guess pink. By the way, that is the greatest gender reveal. I have that instinct too. Always like when there's the popular thing people are doing, you're like, what, how can I make fun of this? Yeah. 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 So yeah. this is the, the powder that you get from Party City. Yeah. Yes. Th- th- you know what? They need to sponsor me. Wait, can I just see the ingredients? I and hope it's not talcum. It's definitely not good. It's not what? It's meant to be in a balloon, not a talcum powder. Talcum, yeah, it's made out of talcum. <laughs> 
Cal- 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 I was like, damn. Eat on that. Damn, eat on that. <laughs> I'll tell you what's not good about it. So it's not, it doesn't have talcum powder, but it does have red dye. Oh, oh yeah. I Love mean, that, consuming red dye. That's some talk. Red is dye's great. Red, good for you. Red 40 is my. You're right. <laughs> love it. I love I red Agent 40. Orange. <laughs> oh, yeah. Am I tripping or where's the. the... Oh. Oh, those. oh, I brought right there, a canvas, yeah. oh, to, but canvas. I have to hurry up and paint the canvas and then I think I'm pretty much good for a good fart. Oh. Should I go wipe my butthole? No, no, who cares? No, who cares? Paige, should I pack the powder? Carlos. You want one of them to do it? Yes, ma'am. Either oh, way. You're well, done with that. I could pack your powder, Paige, if you want. I know. Esther always leaves on the gay parts, huh? <laughs> but tell me, Chelsea, can you show me how to pack powder properly? Yes. I feel like your pants need to be down a little oh, more. Okay. Come on, come on, get them down. Well, I don't want them to get demonetized. Well, we'll blur. Okay. Okay, I think it's coming. Let me pack it. Should we put a mic down by the anus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Esther's mic. Yeah, she missed out. Okay, that's how you pack it. You pack it. You kind of open it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, open the cheeks a little. (laughs) That's it. That was it, bro. (laughs) <laughs> oh, my hand got warm. <laughs> Don't, bro, that was it. Well, wow. Can I poop on you no. or something? No, 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 you're the good. The farts were amazing. It's yeah. not, maybe I didn't put enough hodgepodge on, do we think? Maybe? Let's see. Well, look, it's there's well, some pink on there, and I think that's enough. I could also, the smell of the fart yeah, with the... Uh, yeah, art. this is art. Dude, people just fucking splat paint on a thing. The, fa- the, the smell what? of the fart yeah. with the... Um, Sorry. No, with the thing together is funny. Oh, the... It's like a 4 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Oh, what are we saying? Thank you, everybody, for being here and supporting Trash Tuesday. They are wonderful women. <laughs> they really are. Paige, I just want to say, before we wrap this up and Chelsea, that I haven't been... I know that people get into these, like, circle jerks and do these bonding things and get to know people that way. This couldn't have been a more bonding experience Esther for me. Left, like at the wrong time. And I, I feel say, so know. much closer to you guys and I feel like we're family now and I really have such a deep love for the both of you. So thank you for doing this. Thank you for your Oh shit. <laughs> we're getting crazy. Thank you for um <laughs> thank you for your contribution to the art world. I think there are a lot of pretentious art bros out in the world right now, a lot of pretentious artists who are nepo babies who are putting you know, stuff that I'm like, what are you guys even mm-hmm. doing? This to me is real performance art and I'm so glad you exist. And thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Trash Tuesday. We hope you enjoy this because we sure did. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>